Next, the manual says to remove the entire high voltage cable from the battery to the motor, but it doesn't interfere at all with the removal of the motor. So we just leave it in place. We just disconnect it from the, from the motor. Before working on the high voltage system, make sure that the surface plug grip is still removed. First, we remove the coolant hose. It's uh, zip tied here. So we just uh, cut the zip tie, move it out of the way. Originally it's a snap fit, but uh, previously I think Toyota, uh, they uh, damaged it. So we have to remove the communication cable. So easiest is to take a little screwdriver and uh, pry it behind this tab over here. Lift it up and simultaneously pull the connector out. There we go. See also that is a kind of a snap fit connection. Next we remove the motor cable cover, the orange thing over here. It is uh, an M4 bolt. There we go. The bolt is out. Let's see if it uh, comes off easily. Yep. There we go. Two O-rings. And there's a, a thread in this plastic part uh, over here, so you can just leave the, the bolt in and don't lose it. Next we're going to measure the voltage, see if everything is zero volt. So grab your multimeter, make sure uh, it's on DC voltage, not on AC. And then uh, I keep the prongs in one hand, because if I would have them in two hands like this, current could flow through my heart if there's like a damage or something on these uh, prongs. So then we're just going to measure it like this. And it's zero. And against ground, zero. And the other pole against ground, also zero. So that's good, that's safe. Next, we're going to remo remove this wire harness clamp bracket so bolt over there bolt over there and a nut at the top over there and then Toyota already kind of damaged the uh, connector between this uh, wire harness and this uh, bracket so that this uh, also a snap fit connector uh, you can see it. You can see it there a little bit. Gosh, this camera. All right, the bracket is off. This one was six newton meter torque. The nut up was also six newton meter, and this one twelve newton meter. Next, we'll remove these two bolts over here and pull these two cables out. All right, the cables are out. Ten newton meter is the torque. I put the bolts back so I don't lose them. Next, I removed this uh, plastic injection molded part over here. It's the wire harness protector, that's what it's called. It's uh, fastened with a bolt over there and a bolt over there. And at these two easy to reach locations. Also, I disconnected uh, this cable over here. Make sure that uh, only on this side you push this lever over here on this point. So it hinges over this point over here and then this part comes up and it disengages from this uh, little protrusion over here. Next we remove the speed sensor on the right side of the car. And then we remove this bolt over here and that bolt over there. Next we're going to remove this beam over here and that beam and that beam over there. It's just a couple of bolts, M17. So use a breaker bar. Uh, don't get under the car while you do it. And use an impact uh, unit to uh, make it quick. We have removed the beams. We have positioned the transmission lift below the motor, jacked it up. And there is a, a strap for safety going over the motor. Be careful not to uh, pinch any uh, electrical wires or so uh, between the motor and the strap. The ratchet had to be on the, on this side over here because right here this, the, the ratchet would interfere with this beam over here. Um, also, I put a wood clamp around the 
this Harbor Freight transmission lift because if you tighten the ratchet then it will pull this flange all the way out and this little wheel will flop out so that's not good. Note that the transmission lift is uh, off-center because the electric motor is the most heavy part. It's only the inverter with a bunch of printed circuit boards and some uh, aluminum cast cooling parts. So I don't trust myself at all so I put a block there in case the motor wants to tilt while I uh, loosen the, the final pulse. Next we're going to move this uh, large beam that goes all across the front of the car. 7 bolts M17. Remove the so-called front cross member sub-assembly. Next is this bracket which is only attached with one bolt to only the motor. Next on the right hand side of the car we're going to remove this bracket which is this nut over here and these two bolts. So note that you need a deep socket 17 for this. If you try to loosen it with a wrench like this it will damage the nut so just so you know. The three bolts are loose. Now there's a bolt all the way at the end. That's the last bolt holding the motor in place. You need a lot of extensions because you need the breaker bar and a lot of torque to get it loose. So now the motor is completely loose and it's a good moment to uh, check if there's no wiring harnesses or uh, cooling hoses uh, left attached to the motor before we uh, lower it. So we can see we still have a little gap between the motor and the wooden block. So, so far so good. Let's start uh, lowering it. I forgot we also have to remove this bolt over here. So we're going to do that now. All right, attempt number two. I raised the motor a little bit. And what happened is that uh, this point, the motor just tipped a little bit because it's uh, still a little bit free to rotate. So hopefully uh, it will stable. I have to keep that in, in check. And as you can see it's, it's bending. I don't like that. I added some wooden blocks here in case it tilts any further. So it doesn't fall any further than one inch. Now it's touching the frame there a little bit. So we have to move the motor a little bit here. And that's it. It's out. That's good. Is how much clearance do we really have? Four inch. Right, so now let's have a look where the center of gravity really is. So I put some wedges uh, below it and right now it seems to be like just about below the center of gravity. So that's a quarter inch left of the, the seam here. The seam, you have the weld over here and then there's a the seam of the, the cast. And it's just quarter inch ish left of that. Next we're going to lift the motor on a table. I found this table on a sidewalk. Someone abandoned it and say for free. And uh, so I'm using a chain hoist. $70, $69 at Harbor Freight. Something like that. Cheap option would be like a come along like this. You can buy one for 30 bucks or something at the U-Haul or somewhere else. And uh, put some straps around the motor. Uh, you know just above the center of gravity and then we can hoist it and see where it balances out and then we can find the center of gravity like in this direction as well
Now it's hanging freely. We can look at the center of gravity from this vantage point. It should be right below this uh, hook over here, which is no more than half an inch away from the center over here. All right, I added an extra strap. Now we're going to see if we can lower it on the table and if the table will uh, hold the weight of the bar. Good. The last thing today we're going to remove this damper which is three bolts. I'm going to measure the torque as well.